When creating drawing in SOLIDWORKS, various fields can be automatically populated in the title block in the bill of material table or other drawing annotations. This is done by setting custom properties for individual parts and the assembly. Some of these custom properties can be linked to a model dimension and measurements such as the mass. Once these custom properties are created, they can be linked to annotations in drawing. Additionally, bill of materials tables can be automatically generated once the custom properties are set including values such as the part time, the part name, the revision and the vendor supplying in the part. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how the custom properties for this assembly populate a predefined drawing template. Then I will create a bill of material table that will also be populated with the custom properties from the individual component in the assembly. Finally, I will show you how to make modification to the bomb and save it as bomb template for future use. Here I have an assembly com uh, comprised of multiple components and sub-assembly. This assembly and all of these components can uh, have custom properties assigned to them. The custom properties can be accessed by clicking on the file properties tab at the top of the SOLIDWORKS interface. Or by going to the file drop down menu and selecting properties from the list. I'll select the custom tab in this dialog box and you can see the various properties set for this assembly. One of these properties the weight is linked to the mass of the assembly file. I also want to point out some of these properties that will appear later on its lesson. This description of the assembly as well as the revision and the finish will appear in the title block of the drawing I'll create. I'll click OK to exit out of the custom properties. Now I'll add this assembly to custom predefined drawing template. As a side note, to use a custom drawing template, you first need to save the template file in the folder path shown above. This will make the template accessible with the creating new drawing from a part or assembly. I'll click the file drop down menu and set uh, make drawing from assembly. I'll prompt to select a drawing template and I'll choose the drawing template I had created beforehand. With the drawing open, I'll zoom in the title block in the lower right corner. Noted that most of the fields are blank, with the exception of the drawing name. Even though tough many of these fields are blank, they are already linked to custom properties of the model that will be inserted into the drawing. For instance, if I edit the sheet format, I can see the annotation linked to the custom properties, such as description, the revision, and the weight. I'll exit of the editing sheet format. If I drag isometric view from the view palette onto the sheet, many of fields populate with the assembly custom properties such as the finish, the weight and the assembly revision level. I'll click the green check to exit out of the property manager. Now I'll add some additional custom property to this drawing sheet which will also populate some of the fields in the title block. I'll click the file properties and I can see the list of property names that are already present of the drawing. I'll enter a value for all of these properties. And click the OK button. Now the title block has the sign of uh, fields drawings as would be found in a finalized engineering drawing. In the next video, I'll upload in the drawing value and then I'll demonstrate how to custom properties can be used to populate the information in a bill of material. Finally, I will make notification to the bill of material and save it as a template. Now that the title block is fully populated with custom properties defined at the drawing and assembly levels, I will add a bill of material to the drawing that is also populated with the custom properties. First, I'll use the auto balloons tool to add balloons to the drawing view, which can be accessed in the annotation tab of the command manager. Now I can add the bill of materials, which is found in the insert drop down menu under tab tables. 
when I select the SolidWorks, ask for me to select the drawing view. I'll select the isometric view and the property manager appears. I'll be sure to select the predefined bomb template I'll be using for this example. And I'll also make sure that the bomb type is set to top level only. Now, when I click the green check, I can place a bill of material in the graphic area. I'll attach it to the top left corner of the sheet. If I zoom into the table, I can see that the custom property description and the part number were used to fill the table according to the each part. However, what if I want to add additional columns to the bomb data linked to custom properties? To do this, I'll need to insert a new column by right click on the part number column and then hovering over insert and then selecting column right. Now a new column appears and at the top I can see the option to choose the column type and the property name. I'll make sure the first drop down menu is set to custom property. And then I'll set the second drop down menu to vendor to add a vendor column to the BOM. This automatically fill in the new column with the vendor for each part. I'll resize the column to clean up the BOM. Now the table is complete, but what if I want to use this table as a template for future bill of material tables? To save this form as a template, I can right click to anywhere in the table and select save as. This will bring up a dialog box where I can save the bomb as a template for future use. I'll click it bomb with vendor and save it in the file location I wish to choose. This completes the drawing which is fully populated with custom properties set at the part level, assembly level and drawing level.